Hey guys, how's it going? This is James Tripp and this is a video on a dynamic transformative meditation based on choosing. Now this is the first video that I've made since arriving in Adelaide. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos, this is the plan. Um, today I've come out to the Japanese garden on South Terrace in Adelaide. When I lived here many, many years ago, I used to come and do Tai Chi and martial arts practice in this garden amongst other places, so there's a lot of memories here. What I want to share with you today is an idea, I call it a meditation. It's a very developmental meditation, a transformative meditation, if you like, and it's based around the concept of choosing. Now choosing, choice, identifying with the I that chooses, transcending your, your past, your history, transcending your beliefs about your character, identifying with the I that chooses. This is a very powerful part of the coaching work that I do. It's a powerful theme within the coaching work because the people that I'm coaching are what I call creators. They are people who show up and engage with the world in a way that creates positive outcomes for themselves and for the people who are important to them. And choice is a fundamental aspect. Starting to see yourself as one who chooses, one who has choice, and, and starting to connect with the power to make choice. You know, real profound choice in the moment is, is a useful thing. Now, I'm going to share with you a quick uh, reference. I got this from a guy called Alex Korb. Alex Kolb, Korb wrote a book called The Upward Spiral, and he talks in there about a scientific experiment with rats, psychological experiment with rats. And of course, as you can imagine, if it's a psychological experiment with rats, some rats got uh, tormented and tortured in this experiment so as is always the way so you've got these pairs of rats two rats in separate cages and these rats are electrocuted uh, not terminally electrocuted but electrocuted with uncomfortable electric shocks and both rats are electrocuted for the same amount of time the same uh, level of voltage but rat A has a lever in his cage and he can pop the lever down and turn off the electric shock. Now as he turns it off, it turns it off for Rat B as well. So he ends up in control. He ends up being the one with the choice. Now the outcome of this experiment was that Rat A, who has choice, who has power, who has the ability to make a difference, to take action, ends up being pretty much fine. Whereas Rat B gets the same amount of electrocution but is cut off from his ability to influence, to choose. And as a result of this, Rat B gets depressed. Rat B loses his mojo. Rat B develops learned helplessness, all of these kind of things. So Rat B recedes and becomes passive, okay? So choice, understanding that you have choice, being able to connect with choice, being able to connect with making a difference in any given moment is a powerful thing not only because of what it brings to you in life, but also what it does for your state of mind. So I have a, what I call a dynamic meditation around choice that I've developed, and I'd like to share this with you. It's based on the distinction of choosing versus yielding. Now, I mentioned before that when I lived in Adelaide before, I used to come do Tai Chi in these gardens, in these Japanese gardens. Now, in Tai Chi, the concept of yielding is an important concept. It's about not struggling, it's about going with. And it's a positive thing. The reason it's a positive thing it's introduced there is because most people are struggling with their lives. But the opposite extreme is when we just go with the flow and we get washed away. In life, really, we want to engage with life in such a way where we hold not too tight, not too loose. We want to engage proactively, but we don't want to be controlling, pushing, struggling with. So we want to be able to back off as well. It's that sweet spot. I'm reminded of a story about um, the old movie actor Errol Flynn from the swashbuckling movies being asked about how to hold a sword. And he said that you hold a sword much as you would hold a delicate bird. If you hold it too tight, you crush the life out of it. And if you hold it too loose, it will escape and fly away. And I think engagement with life and choice is, is very much about this. So with this distinction I'm sharing with you here, yielding versus choosing. Yielding, I'm talking to mean those times where you just end up being, not just going with the flow, but being washed away by the flow. You end up 
noodling away your time, you end up reacting unconsciously, perhaps in ways that are not useful, uh, burning up a lot of time on nothing, and perhaps you would prefer things to be different. But of course, those times when you're yielding, you might be yielding into things uh, that are easy to yield into. I have a tendency, if I let myself go, to yield into wasting time on the web, on the internet, this kind of thing. Some people yield into addictive behaviors, yield into drinking, yield into smoking cigarettes. Whatever it is that you yield into, this is the kind of yielding we're talking about. And I'm contrasting this with choosing. Choosing. Choosing is a very different thing from yielding. It's a thing where you bring a certain level of consciousness to bear on the moment and you make a choice. You choose to do something with full awareness, full consciousness. You say, this, this is the thing that I'm doing. And this is what this meditation is based on, yielding versus choosing. Now, I want to talk a little here about why you would do this meditation before I share the meditation with you. The meditation I'm about to share, and it's an active meditation you can do anytime, any place, anywhere, and it only takes a few moments to do, but it's very, very powerful. I recommend when people do this, they do it for 30 days to begin with. They do it every day for 30 days, and there is a reason for this, because you are building something into your system. Neurons that wire together fire together. By doing this meditation every day, several times a day, for 30 days, you're going to strengthen a capacity within you to choose, to engage with switched up conscious choice. This is a powerful, powerful thing. So this is why I recommend that people do this initially. This meditation is a 30 day challenge, if you like. It's, it's not a heavy challenge, you can take it lightly. But do it for 30 days, build this into your system. Okay, so here's the meditation. You'll see why it's a meditation when I uh, describe it to you. What you want to do is you want to start switching up your awareness for when you are yielding. When you are yielding. So in order to switch up your awareness for when you're yielding, you need to bring more consciousness to the present moment. Start recognizing when you're yielding perhaps into a thought spiral, yielding into a bad habit, yielding into an automated response, whatever. You have to be aware of the present moment. I've got some proper Australian flies here. You have to be aware of the present moment. So mindfulness and presence, it brings you into the present to be aware and to say, I'm yielding. Now, as with all meditation, you want to be aware without judgment. You want to be mindful with equanimity, without judgment. So there's no need at this point to go, oh, I'm yielding. Oh, how crap of me. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this again? I shouldn't be doing this. Keep all that off the table. We just want to be present to when we are yielding or about to yield and do so without judgment. Just notice with curiosity. So that's the first part, noticing the yielding side of the distinction. And at that point, you choose. You choose to do something different. You make a choice. Now, I want to be clear about what I mean by choice here. I don't mean you choose to uh, deliver some project by the end of the week or you choose to start being more um, assertive in your life or something like that. Those are choices that don't relate to the, to the present moment. In fact, I would say they're not really choices at all. They're just ideas, they're just decisions. A real choice, as I'm talking about it here, is one that reflects directly into action in the moment. Action in this moment in time. You see, I can choose to pick up my notebook here. You see, it's a choice when I pick up the book. When I'm thinking about picking up the book, it's not a choice. If I'm saying, well, I'm, I, I think I'll get round to, to picking up the book, that's not a choice. Picking up the book, as the book is picked up, the choice is being made. Providing I'm doing it with consciousness, with volition. And this is what I, I, I want to practice doing. There's an old joke here. Uh, it says five frogs are on a log and four of them decide to jump off. How many frogs are left on the log? The answer is five, because four only decided to jump off, they didn't actually jump off. So I'm talking about choosing, being if, if a frog chose to jump off, 
he would jump off. That would be the choice coming into action. Now this is another reason why this is a meditation and a dynamic meditation at that. Because action happens in the moment. It can only happen in the moment. So once again, by being aware of the yielding and then switching up the consciousness and choosing and taking a, an active choice in that moment, you have to be in the present moment. There is nowhere else you can be. Now, if you get into it like, oh, well, I don't know what to do. Oh, no, 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 no. Now you've stepped out of the meditation. Now you're into some kind of rumination loop or whatever. You can be time traveling in your mind. You're out of the present moment. But so long as you do the meditation, it's a quick meditation to do, you will be uh, powerfully drawn into and guided into the moment with a lot of presence, a lot of awareness for what it is that's happening and a connection to your volition and choice. You're building yourself up as the eye that chooses that aspect of you, the eye that chooses, is becoming more powerful every time you do this meditation. So as I say, I recommend doing this for 30 days and do it several times a day. What I do on my phone is I have a tally counter. Uh, so I, I just click every time I make a choice. Now I'm not trying to hit a certain target every day. There's no rule that says I have to get a certain number of choices, but this is what I do. I keep the tally chart going because it makes it into a game. It keeps me focused when I'm doing this uh, as a 30 day challenge. Now there's a few things I want to say about this. I want to say something to get really clear about the point of this. One of the wonderful things about this meditation is that it has as a side effect increased productivity, or at least it does for me and it has with many clients that I've shared this with, has as a side effect increased productivity. And this is a cool thing, uh, but it's not what it is about. This is not a productivity trick. The productivity is a side effect. It comes out and it doesn't necessarily have to come out of it. What's more important is that you are bringing presence and rehearsing choice, building the eye that chooses. Presence, choice, yielding, choosing, Re repetition over and over and over. You build it into your neurology, just like any meditation does, by the way. Meditations change you. Meditation practice changes you. It changes your brain because of uh, the processes of neuroplasticity, Hebb's law, these kinds of things. So this is just like this, but it is not about increasing productivity. This is a self-development, self-discovery practice. Um, so that's an important thing to mention. Another important thing to mention here is when the choices in a sense are not important. They're not important. I could choose to just pick up my book. But the way I do this and the way I encourage my clients to do this is to choose things that are aligned with your values. Choose things that are aligned with what you're creating in your life, life right now. Okay, so if you're creating health and well-being, maybe you'll choose to do, I don't know, 10 press-ups. Maybe you'll choose to go and have some greens powder. That's something that, that I do quite a lot. So I'm doing a lot of movement development stuff at the moment. One of the things that I might choose to do is choose to do a handstand. Choose to go hold a handstand for a minute or something like that. Choose to go practice something. Sometimes I choose something to do with work. Sometimes I'll choose to just do an email, just to address an email with somebody, or choose to post something. Maybe I'll choose to pick up my camera and make a video. You see, the choices, you may as well choose things that are aligned with what you're creating in the world. This is a useful thing to do for two reasons. Number one, you get the side effect of added productivity and moving you towards more of what you want to create in the world. And number two, it gets you used to living on purpose, being aware of, having in your mind what it is that you're working on right now in your life, what you're creating in your life, and being able to do things that, that come into alignment with that. Okay, uh, the last point I want to mention about this, this choosing meditation, is don't get too hung up on analysis of it. Don't get too hung up on analysis of it. Once or twice I've had people say to me, well, the choice I really want to make is this, but it seems to be that, 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 and they get hung up on the analysis about the choice they really want to make if they could, if it was hard. <sighs> that is not the meditation. That's just getting caught up in crazy thinking. So the idea is to become present in the moment 
exercise choice through consciousness that reflects into action in the moment and be aware of that whole process. Experience it fully. So I think I've covered everything there. I don't know if you can already see the value in this. It really is a powerful meditation. It's easy to do because every single instance of the meditation only takes a few moments, really. It only takes a few moments to become aware of yielding, to choose, and to let that choice immediately express into action, and to be aware, switched up, a little bit more consciousness than you would normally bring. It only takes a few moments. Then pick up the phone, click on the tally counter. You can get any number of tally counting apps. Look at that, you don't have to build up a lot. Some days I may only tally count three, four, five choices. That's it. That's fine. Oh, last point. This one I want to, um, I want to make make sure I, I share with you, is if you're going to do this for 30 days, make a commitment to doing it for 30 days, and make the first thing you do in the morning be your first choice. Wake up and choose. First thing, begin the day with choice. What often happens then is you get on a roll, you get on a choosing roll, it becomes easier and easier to choose. It has a powerful effect on state, at least it does for me and it has for many people as I say I've shared this with. It has a powerful effect on state. Powerful effect on state. In that you get into a roll, you start feeling much more in the driving seat of your life, much more able to choose, much more effortless to choose. Your mood becomes higher. You know, it's much more enjoyable engaging with the day. So make that beginning of the day your first opportunity uh, to choose. Okay, so as I say, this is the first video I've made since I've been in Adelaide. It's the first video I've actually made for quite a long time. And uh, please forgive the slightly unusual order with it and the, the noises around. There's some running water, some working guys over there, some sirens over there. Um, look forward to communicating with you again soon. If you have any questions about this, please do ask in the comment section below, wherever you're viewing this. If you do this, you know, if you go, I see the value in that, James, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do 30 days on this. I mean, you've got nothing to lose and everything to gain, I would say. If you do this, please do feed back to me with your experience, what it does for you, what you notice, what you discover, what you learn about yourself, all of these things. I'd love to hear from you. Okay, take care.